So here we are on the show floor, 2013 SEMA show here in the Aeromoto booth with Jared. And Jared, I'm holding what is probably my favorite product that we have seen here. And uh, Aeromotive, obviously long known as a, as a leading in, uh, name in the industry for high performance fuel pumps and fuel systems. You guys have finally come into the diesel world, man, in we a have, big way. We have, we have. We, this has been a you know, couple of years of research and development going into this to make sure that we bring a product to market that is not only useful, but solves a lot of the issues that are out on the market currently. I mean, for you guys that are uh, high performance diesel guys, even fleet owners, this new lift pump from Aeromotive is huge. Why? It incorporates about a million different features here. We have an adjustable diaphragm regulator on there. In typical applications of these things, guys will see two, three, four pounds of pressure loss when they stand on the throttle. This guy kind of solves that, doesn't it? It, it does, it does. Um, most of the other competitors out there use a traditional ball and spring type of uh, regulation device. Uh, it works, but it's not ideal. It's, it's just cost effective to kind of do it that way. Um, but at Aeromotive, we don't want to sacrifice performance or reliability for, for cost. So we went ahead and used just a true diaphragm style regulator on it. Cool. And again, on the regulator, you can you can swap the spring out. So low pressure, high pressure. Most certainly for the Cummins and the Duramax, you know, you'll run you run the low pressure. We have a spring that's you know three to twenty, or for the Power Stroke guys, we can do uh, thirty to sixty. So outside of that, I mean, we moved down here. Very cool. It's a single filter system, meaning this one filter. We got uh, water separation here, contaminant separation down to what like three microns. Three micron. We can it, it not only you know like you said, it separates the water to it. Um, but it does, goes down to a three micron, which is very uh, important for most of the diesel enthusiasts out there. Now, I know probably a dozen guys that have had lift pumps that have problems with shaft seals leaking. Yes. Tell me about that. <laughs> Big smile. Yeah. Um, our design is an actual wet or flow through design, which the diesel fuel actually flows across the electric motor. So therefore, there is no shaft seals to leak uh, specifically, you know, when the weather gets cold out, that's when the, the spring lock seals that are with traditional T-style pumps like to start uh, okay. weeping or leaking fuel. We completely avoided that, went through a, to a flow through design and used, you know, all um, Viton O-ring seals. So leaking is now a thing of the past. That is, uh, that is huge. That is a huge development just in usability and, and durability as well. Now, we got some ports on here. For you guys in cold weather climates, we're heating up fuel here? Yes, uh, we have the ability to plumb in engine coolant into the block to help heat the heat the block and keep keep the fuel from gelling in extreme cold climate. Very cool. And I'm noticing a port on the back. What do we what do we uh, we got a pressure <laughs> pressure deal happening here? Uh, yes, actually, you know, we have a gauge port. You know, as you see, you can hook a gauge up to yeah. it. So now there's no more guessing at what your pressure is. Yeah. So you can get an accurate pressure gauge on it. But there's also a key, some key features in here that you can't really see sure. without without opening up the pump. Uh, on the outlet cap of the pump, we actually have a one-way check valve built into it. So once the system is primed, the check valve closes and keeps the system from draining back. Makes it makes it easier oh. to, e easier to start. Sure. Uh, also for the Duramax guys or for the guys uh, vehicles that were never equipped with the lift pump, the CP3 unit or, or the lift pump mm -hmm. or the injection pump under the hood is always making the, the vacuum pull. We actually have a fail safe valve built into the pump. So for if any reason there is any type of failure with the unit. There's a safety bypass valve in there that will be opened up by the injection pump, and you will be able to continue about your way. Yeah, that's huge. Not being stranded on the side of the road is a major part of the program. Yes. So, in addition to obviously being able to supply fuel for guys that want to make big horsepower, we could also be talking about some efficiency gains here as well. Yes. Uh, just some initial testing on on some of the the prototype uh, that we have out there on some of the vehicles. We've seen anywhere from a two to eight mile per gallon increase. That's unbelievable. Now, I believe you're going to be starting out with Duramax applications and then and then making some changes for other other uh, trucks. Yes, uh, the, the pumps are pretty much going to stay the same. I mean, it's going to be the same pump across all, all you know all the markets. Um, but the installation kits are where where things are going to vary. Uh, we're going to start out with the 01 to 2010 Duramaxes, okay. uh, followed probably by the Cummins and the Power Stroke. So you know everyone needs to kind of bear with us. I mean, we're we're coming into the market green, but we're coming in right. It is uh, well. There's a ton of buzz around the show about this. I've run into a bunch of the diesel guys. Here and they said, man, you see this deal Aeromotive's coming with it? I said, oh, I'm going to see it, and now I'm, I'm rubbing it and holding on to it. So <laughs> it is uh, very cool to see you guys head into this market, and it can mean only good things to the diesel enthusiasts out there. Yes, yes. We, like I said, we've got a lot of thought, um, you know, a lot of a lot of time, and, you know, we're enthusiasts too. You know, we're not we're not out to do another, sure. another Me Too product. We're coming out with something that the market actually needs. Well, Aeromotive, you know them from the gas side, and now... They're supporting the diesel side too. Check it out. There'll be a lot more information coming on the Aeromotive diesel fuel system soon. And if you've got a Duramax, put this on your Christmas list.